And welcome back again. I'm sorry about the cliffhanger. I tried to squeeze in as much as I could in that video as possible, but we kind of just ran out of time. Kind of just ran out of time. So let's pretty well start off where we left off. Um, I think we have enough to finish slapping off this roof too. Finally. So let's get our builder's wand out. And keep slabbing this guy off. Should not take more than a few minutes. A few seconds. Oh, this builder's wand, how nice is that? How nice is that? And we should be totally slabbed off now. I'll have to figure out a way to make this floating elevator look a little bit nicer. It'll come. I'm not worried about cosmetics now. So I did lay down some more fans in here. I think I want a couple more. Let's do three more right here. Three more right there. And let's get up to the roof and start laying down these uh, inverted lamps. So there's one way to do this, and one way alone. Oh, I should make more pants. But anyways, I do have to pull these lights out. So something's bound to spawn when I pull these lights out. Wow, it's already spawning. <laughs> That's quick. So this cursed earth is like... This cursed earth is like hyper mob spawns, put it that way. It's truly hyper hyperactive mob spawns. You could do this. Oh, well, that's a creeper. No, 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 no. Thank you, quartz sword. I get them all. Just about. You guys can stay in there. All right. So there's one way to do this properly. Like I said, um, it's daytime too. Hmm. I'm gonna wait till nighttime because I do want it to be nice and dark in there so I don't burn up my uh, cursed earth. Alrighty, and we're back. It's getting pretty dark. So there's one thing I thought of when I was kind of sitting around waiting for darkness, pondering. What the hell did I do that for? I should have laid the cursed earth down after I had the lamp set up because my god. There is a lot of stuff in here. We have unleashed hell, and we weren't ready for it. Wow, we have unleashed hell in that room. We weren't ready for it. <laughs> That's okay. So let's lay out our lamps. Um, I just need the cursed earth lit up, really. So I think if I put one lamp, let's see, here... I'll let you get it all. I'm gonna see how many is that? Three blocks? One, two, three. Just going three from here. Another lamp here should do the trick. Perfect. You really don't have a center here, though, because of that. Let's see, is everything lit up in between? It looks to be. Alright, so let's do the same in from here. We were three in. Lay down a lamp. I might lay down a couple more in the middle here. I think that should be okay. Let's check out the middle. Anything spawning in the middle? Yeah, we do have a couple marks. So maybe I'll put two more in the middle. And there's no real center. So we'll just go like that. These two will be kind of off-centered, but we'll have to deal with it. 
and bricks and a slab. So now that we have our inverted lamp set up, we can now run our conduits like so. And I don't want to waste any conduits, so I might just remove um, the slabs in between the lamps. Yeah, I think we'll do that with the conduits. Ooh, I got pushed pretty far there for some reason. I don't know why. Let's get these conduits laid out. I think that should be pretty good. I now know for sure that I'm going to need to make more conduits and how you make these guys is with this alloy smelter which we haven't even made yet so this should be interesting. We'll have to get into that soon enough. Okay so the conduits are laid I need them to my fans so we're gonna have to go down this way somewhat. And this is what I'm talking about. The conduits don't like micro parts, so we have to make this really ugly, like, block hanging off our mob farm to cover those up properly. Alright, so now we gotta clear this out. I will be back after I clear out this uh, mess I made and see if there's any spots we left open, which I can already see there is. So I'll be back in a few guys. I have to clear out this giant mess I made without thinking. Alright, so we cleaned out the mess. That was a bit of a bit of a thing. I mean, I blew up this whole area with creepers, so we do have to do a little bit of repair. Not a big deal, but crisis averted. Crisis averted. I got a few fences left. We'll fix this up. I got one open spot there. Not a, not a big deal. Okay, so we do have some spots. Uh, right here, there's a spot. We'll throw a torch there to signify that. Right here there's spots, so we're gonna have a torch. Right where the spots are that I need to fill in with a lamp. Uh, this is all gonna be a spot, so... One lamp here. No, we already have lamps there. There's gonna be conveyor belts here, so down here is not a big deal. I just kinda have to worry about the spots up top. There's going to be conduits here, which should block mob spawns, I think. Yeah, they do. Okay. So I think we're good, actually. I think we're good. I don't think this will spawn. I don't see any red X's on the cursed earth, or maybe they don't happen here, but... If anything, I'll have to add another... I might as well just do it now. We'll add one more lamp. One, two, one, two, three, in line with that. One more lamp there. One more lamp here, just in case. There we go. That should take care of that. Now we need more conduits, so I think we're going to have to get into that alloy smelter thing. So I'm not going to have enough conduits to finish off this uh, row of fans. Plus I have to connect them and set up a lever. Alright, so that should do that trick. Throw another torch there. We need to make some more conduits, so let's find out how we use this alloy smelter and what it's all about. So, alloy smelter. It's from Ender IO. Okay, so we're going to need nether bricks, which is nether rack smelted. I should have some nether rack, I think. I've got one. That's okay, we can go make some right now. Nice, quick, and easy process to make nether rack if you keep a barrel standing by. So I think we're going to need 16 for bricks, and we need how much for the smelter? Alloy smelter. I think we need four bricks. Yeah, so we need 16 pieces of nether rack. 15 and 16. 
We'll throw this in our smelter hooked up to the import, so that should automatically import into AE. Yep, there it goes. Okay, so that'll smelt up. What else do we need for this guy? I really hate how it does that. It clears your NAI search bar. It's kind of nice to have too. So we need a furnace. And we need basic capacitors. Interesting. We need a two of these, right? I think so. Yep, two and a machine chassis. Simple enough. We need some bars, though. Iron bars. Machine chassis. Done. Right, smelter. We should just be waiting on our nether brick now. Got 14. Two more coming in. 15 and... 16. Nice. Oh, I'm short when I needed five. Bugger. Okay. Need four more pieces of netherrack. Three and four. While we wait for this to smelt up, why don't we take care of our energy problems we've been having? So let's get some... Hardened energy conduits. We're gonna need more than five. Fifteen's all we can make. That's fine. Now, so my machines are gonna be unpowered. What I'm gonna do is run a separate line off of there for now. So the left side of this will be another output dedicated to. Or 400. We'll fix this up later once we have... Actually, we could probably do it now. What were we short on? Or hardened? I think I need more lead stones. Yes, I do. Give me a stack of those. And give me as many as you can. Perfect. Now let's update this whole line. Because this was a problem plaguing us before, and we can just fix it now while we're waiting. We now have five times the power running to all these machines. Should be good to go. I can finish covering that up later. Our brick should be done by now. So let's get on the project. Um, we'll slab this off though. And we don't need that output anymore. So our brick should be done by now. Where's our nether? Rack into a brick. Alloy smelter. Let's see what this guy's all about. We're probably gonna need power on it, more than likely. So that's a hundred thousand RF buffer. Wow. Can I do it with that? I can do it with that. What I think I'll do is I'll just place it right here for the time being. Are you getting power? Or do you need your own special conduits? Because I know um, Ender.io has special conduits. You are getting power. Good. So how do we make this alloy? Red alloy, or what was it called? Let's just search redstone conduit. We'll find it there for sure. Redstone alloy, silicon, and redstone. 32, that should be enough. Let's see. How does this guy work? Redstone mount, all smelting alloys only. Furnace only. Hmm. I'm not sure how I get this to go. Alloys only. All smelting should be all smelting, right? I wonder what the problem is here. I might have to look this up really quick and see what I'm doing wrong. So I'll be back. I'm going to see what the hell I'm doing wrong with this guy. Silicon and redstone. 
Does it have to be Ender IO silicon? Applied energistic silicon might not do it. So if it has to be Ender IO silicon, I need to make the seg mill. And I need to bust down sand. Hmm. That's annoying. So I think it does have to be Ender IO silicon only. So what do I need for a seg mill? Maybe I won't look this up. Sag mill. Obsidian, piston, more of these guys. Piston, flint, we have a ton of flint, we need another chassis, and obsidian, we have a ton of obsidian. So there's our sag mill, let's see what this guy's up to. Jesus project is taking a long time. All because I don't have red alloy wire. So this guy's turning on. Okay, let's grab some sand. I think that's what it wanted, was sand, right? Let's see if that Ender IO silicon only does the trick. So I'm gonna be back, guys. I'm gonna let this uh, grind up a little bit and see if we get any of this Ender IO silicon and see if that'll give us alloys. So I'll see you guys shortly after I let this guy run. All right, so we're back and we finally got a piece of silicon of Ender IO style, and it does look different. So I have a feeling that. that we do need Ender IO's silicon only. Like it's not gonna accept um, anything but. So let's find out. Alloy smelter, all smelting. Silicon in the middle, redstone on the left. Bars are moving. I have a feeling we've pretty well got what we need here. And yeah, these are just temporary obviously, just to see what the hell we need to do to get more Redstone conduits. Uh, come on. Wow, these things are slow. These things truly move slow. And perfect, so here we go. We've got our first piece of alloy and we need... How many for a conduit? We need three for 12 conduits. That's not bad. Okay, that's not bad. I could deal with this. So I'm gonna get some more <laughs> conduits together guys and we'll see you shortly. Alright, I'm back, and wow, those two Ender I.O. things are extremely slow. Holy crap, these things process slow. That's all I can say about that. They're super slow. I think I have enough conduits now, though. I've got 48 of them. And I am going to go with clear glass um, until I get the dark glass set up. I need a squid farm for that. But it doesn't look like the light's burning my cursed earth, so... It's fine, I guess. It's fine. It'll do. It'll do. And now we have our conduits ran to our fans. We do have to connect them outside somehow. This is kind of the annoying part because I have to run blocks to block the light. I have to use bloody blocks. I can't use covers. I can't run it up this wall really nice in between covers. I have to use bloody blocks. That is annoying. But what can you do? What can you do? Okay. Kind of like the spot I picked, so I'm just going to move this over one. These guys will connect like so. Down into that hole. Connect that up, and I do have to kind of brick this off. I need some more stone bricks. So these guys will run down and connect into our fans. Perfect. I don't think I have to come back in here. This is all good. We can destroy this block. Come up here and make sure we have nothing spawning here at night time. I 
think that should do the trick fairly well for that. Good enough. And now I need to run one line of these ugly bloody cables. I think you guys are starting to know how much I hate these ugly type of cables. Uh, right here will be fine. So we'll take a line off of here. I think I have just enough conduits to get this done. Nice. The only downside is I'm stuck looking at this. Alright, so when we flick the lever, light should go off and fan should turn on. Perfect. And we have a bunch of red up here. It's good enough for me. Let's turn the lights back on before we start getting some nasty stuff. One more thing we have to make to finish this guy off fully. Keep a couple torches in there. Is some conveyor belts. Now there's two type of conveyor belts. There's one type of conveyor belts from MFR which I'm gonna use that do not allow mobs to spawn on them. And then there's extra utilities conveyor belts which do allow mobs to spawn on them. So it's really up to you, whatever you like to use. I like the MFR belts and I'm used to using them so I'm gonna go with MFR belts. Uh, belt. All different types of colors, you can customize it. Take your pick, I'm going with straight up stock. Let's make a stack of them. Gonna have to eat some potatoes. And boy did this build take longer than I thought it would take to complete. You can use the hammer to kind of uh, change the orientation or you can just kind of stand where you want them and click. And yes, you could tell these are fairly annoying to place. So I'm going to lay these out into my 3x3 three three kill area in the middle, and I'll see you guys after I got these laid out. Alright, so conveyor belts are placed. Now i got to kind of build a way out of here. Because it's time to open up the floor, I think. Pretty well time to open up the floor. Yeah, we got everything set up. I think it's time to get this thing operational. Now, if I fall in there... Oh, that thing is in my way. Hmm. Press shift. So what I'm going to do is smack that, smack that. I'm going to have to go down to get that belt, but that's okay. We can take care of that. So we need one more belt that fell into the bottom. It should be... Uh, should be down below in our diamond chest. By now. Or it's coming, soon enough. I wonder if the hopper picked that up. I think I fell down here. Ah, there it is. We had one extra, so a stack was just enough. Missing some clear glass somewhere. That's okay, we can go get two more. Two more pieces of clear glass. So I did go with the clear glass in the front instead of the darkened glass because I was working in here in the daytime and nothing burned up, so yeah, I think we're fine. And you can see everything just points towards the middle, and once I flick this lever, it should be go time. So you guys are all set up to kill, Hopper's set up to pick up everything, and the reason why I made this trash can is because we are kind of, kind of, when we get drops that uh, we want to just kind of junk, um, I want to go into the chest first. I'll have to kind of decide how I want this. But anyways, we're going to have this trash can set up somewhere around here. And when we get the drops that we decide are junk, we're just going to servo them in with a whitelist to the trash can. Something like so. And we'll have this line hooked up to there. So after we get bows and armor, we're going to grab them. 
Uh, take them over to our trash can, throw them on the whitelist of the trash can, and yeah, they'll just get dumped so we don't have to worry about bows or anything. Basically, we'll just hook this line up to that line once we get some junk in there. We'll show it on camera how I'm going to do it too, later on. I'm going to need two pieces of obsidian just to block off that hole down there. You do have to leave one space for the hopper to act uh, to work though. Hopper needs one space to grab items, so we're gonna block that off. And now everything should just come down and die. The fall damage of 20 blocks should do about three quarters of their health. Lights off. Area's ready. Fans are active. Now we just need stuff to spawn. So I'm going to give this a minute and we'll see how long it takes for something to spawn and I'll be back. back because I did figure out a bug. Stuff wasn't spawning even though our lights are off. Like they're inverted lamps, the redstone signal is going, the lights are off. Stuff isn't spawning because when I re-log, let's see, let's do a quick re-log. The lights are on, so there's a bug here somewhere. I'm not sure where the bug is if it's with this uh, redstone conduit. Or if it's with those road lamps of, um, these road lamps of MFR. One of them is bugged. So I'm not sure which one. So I'm going to try something, and that's basically just killing the road lamps. I would really like to have an on-off switch for this, but... I don't know, there's a bug here somewhere, so I'm going to kill these road lamps. I'm just going to fill in the roof. I'm going to have to report this bug, I guess. I'm not sure where the problem is lying. It's in one of these two that there's a problem. It's either the lamps or the alloys. Something's not doing its job. So I guess we have no on and off switch for the lamps. Yeah, we already have stuff spawning. So that's definitely a bug. I heard a zombie in there. He's probably already killed. Yep, we got stuff spawning. So those lamps are bugged, just an FYI. Stuff is dying, perfect. We're getting the XP. XP's flowing into our tanks. Awesome, this is what we wanted. Creeper? Creeper died before he blew up? Look at this. We have a massacre. Awesome. Drops are coming in. There's my lamps. That's really shameful that I can't keep the lamps. If I was using, um, if I had like Project Red or something, there's a hundred lamps you can pick from. But here we go, look at it all. You get to stand here and watch your mobs die. Pushed off by the fans, conveyor belts carry them down, and they die. This cursed earth is just like obscene amount of mob spawns. And we did have it, we did make it to three high, so Endermen can indeed spawn in there. Creeper blew up. Everything's still in one piece. Yep, everything's in one piece. So here we go, we're starting to get some crap. So how would I want to do this? I think I'd want to run... I think I'd want to run this through the trash can first. So let's get this ready. Uh, you would go through the trash can first. And these would have to be on whitelist. I'm going to disconnect these for now until I get this whitelist full. So the first thing we're going to want to trash is bows. Definitely trash bows, because there's going to be a lot of bows flowing through here. So we're going to trash can bows, and we're going to tell it to... Ignore our metadata, so it should pull any bows now, enchanted or not, I think. Now if we connect this guy up, set this to a vacuum, it should be the first place it checks. And we can try this out with these bows and see if we set this up right. Bow 1 and bow 2.
There's our bows flying through. Let's see if we set it up right. Okay, there's our bows getting trash canned. Awesome. So it's now trash canning all bows. That's what we want to see. Because there's a couple things we want to trash can. Like zombies will drop, zombies, skeletons, whatever, will drop all sorts of random armor we want to trash can. There's all sorts of stuff we want to trash can. I might even trash can these potatoes and carrots because I have potato and carrots farms going, which, yeah, these just waste inventory space. Look at that, two spoil bags already. Our mob farm is rocking and rolling. 